And you went to UCLA. What was the like? Did you get recruited by Hawaii? Was that something that you yeah. considered heavily? Yeah, I did. I, I I got recruited by Hawaii, but my parents both thought it was best if I if I try something new. Um, mm -hmm. They both went there, and and they both loved the school. They just thought that um, to have the opportunity to leave the island and and to get a new experience, be away from home, gain a new perspective was was pretty valuable. And I, and I think that they're definitely right. I think if I were to have spent my, my time at Hawaii, um, I would have had a blast. I wouldn't have gone to a lot of school, but I would have had a, a blast and I would have like <laughs> had a really fun time playing volleyball. The Stan share center, I think is the best place in college volleyball to play. Yeah. You can argue BYU, but I think Stan sheriff is even sicker because, um, well, cause you have the beach, honestly, that's why I think so. But so I think, I think, I think UH is an unbelievable volleyball school, but, um, my, yeah, my, both my parents are like, okay, you can always come home. Home will always be here. Um, and the lessons you can learn from Hawaii are, are, aren't as big as the lessons you can learn from going to a school on the mainland. So they kind of made that decision for me. That's sick, man. And I feel like there's a lot of parents out there that would be like, oh, go to, go to UH. Like, that's where we went. It was awesome. You need to go back, continue the legacy. Like, I know a lot of a lot of families that definitely follow that. Yeah, yeah, So it's yeah, cool yeah. that they were like, get out of there. Yeah, yeah. They're both very selfless parents. Um, actually, my dad chose what school I went to pretty much. Because uh, <laughs> I, was, I was still on my recruiting trip to UCLA. Um and when they offered me, I called them and was like, hey, dad, this is what they're offering me. And he immediately goes, oh, nice. So we're going to be Bruins. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what do you mean? Like, that's it? He's like, yeah, unless you want to pay for any, anywhere else. And I'm like, okay, yeah, <laughs> sounds good to me. Yeah. So yeah, and my dad and my and I I've always my dad's been my coach since I was like a little boy. And I've been always like very trusting in him. Uh, and so I went. I'm not gonna not gonna say no to that. He's like, "Yep, okay, cool. Let him know we're we're good to go." I'm like, okay, I will. That's how there's that worse, There's worse probably places to, be, to go. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I was about to say UCLA probably wasn't too much of a difficult choice either. <laughs> no, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, there was. It came down to USC. Pretty much USC and UCLA because my best friend, I have two best friends in volleyball. Um, Tui Tui Leta and Evan Enriquez. And then Tui at the time was at USC. Uh, and so obviously, and I had played with him since I was seven years old. Um, and we'd been successful together in the club. So that was very tempting. And U USC is all the bells and whistles too, you know? Like as a young kid, you walk into like USC and you're like, even okay, UCLA is obviously no slot. Like it's right there. But USC is just like a tiny step more and, I feel like it's dangerous. I feel like parents should be involved in the kid's decision because it's just like, it's, it's just shiny, it's just shiny things. Life. Like it's yeah, shiny so. things to a kid. And like girls volleyball making decisions that before at like ninth grade, like that's ridiculous. Like ninth grade, what are you going to choose this off of? Like you're going there. You don't even, you're a girl. You're like, you don't even know anything about yourself. Or maybe you do, <laughs> but not a lot. And you're supposed to make like, oh, I'm going to Nebraska. Like, what made you want to go there? Yeah. Oh, they have like a really cool, like, they have a store that I like in their student store or something. <laughs> so, like, honestly, it's like, yeah, and then five years different. later, it's, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I really like the, like, the like Gatorade, like disposable, like, I don't know, the Gatorade freaking, <laughs> what is it called? Like, soda machine, basically. Like, yeah, our, yeah, yeah. like I remember that was like something that was huge for me. I'm like, Oh dude, this Gatorade soda machine. Maybe I should come here. Like I'm not yeah. thinking about my major. I'm like, Oh man, this guy's this guy <laughs> a pretty sick. Like computer lab. Like, <laughs> like that's what I'm thinking about. You're so. right, though. True, true, true. Yeah. I mean, dude, Penn state that they, they were hanging this, like, Oh, we're going to get a new locker room. Like right in front of like, how many, how many recruiting classes, Pete, like probably <laughs> Peter's recruiting class. They're like, gonna have a new locker room anytime now and then like five years later i'm getting there hey new locker room maybe next year well if they build then it then they, then they can't they use it, it. yeah exactly. and they're like oh we got to keep this in yeah. the back pocket yeah they, yeah they did they note that thing i'm sure of it 
Did, did, did so, you guys end up getting one? Yeah, no, my sophomore year, they started building it and then it was ready. And I was there for five years. So I got good use out of the locker room. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That's I've good. used it. Nice. I, we had the same thing, even at Charleston, which I mean, we were, when I was getting recruited there, we were just getting in. Like their big selling point was like, we're going to the IVA this year. So like everybody they were recruiting were like, oh, division one. Like I'll take it. For and then sure. the other thing they were like, we're literally building a new gym right now. And I was like, Ooh, that's also nice. But for me, a big thing was going division. But yeah, dude, yeah. I feel like that's, that's a consistent is that they really do. Cause I mean, they know what a 17, 18 year old kid wants to see. You want to yeah. see a sick locker room that makes you feel like LeBron James when you're getting ready for a game, a tunnel to walk out of something exactly. that's cool. Not like your high school gym. Yeah. You're not, I think the number one thing that, like, if a kid, if I think I'd like, by far the number one thing that I would look into, I think it's the most important um, for your experience, the culture of the volleyball team. And then secondly, the culture of like the community, the school and the community around it. Um, Cause I think that's, that's the number one. That's really the biggest thing. Yeah. yeah that's really good advice. And I feel like, I feel, I mean, obviously like education is important, but if you're not looking at like a Princeton or a Stanford, <clears> pretty much any other of the division one schools, you're still going to get like a solid education. It's like, sure, you're probably sure. going to learn more from the people around you. Like I, de- when I was at Charleston, I definitely learned more from like internship and experience and the people I got to meet over like my degree compared to if I'd gone somewhere else. Right, right, right. Yeah, no doubt. I think, I think there are some cases where like, I mean, if my kid were to be like super ridiculously smart, okay, for sure. Like let's push the education thing. But I think you're right for a lot of us that just want to play volleyball. It's all one and the same. And if you're happy with like the culture, I think that's the most important.